when it slides in, you put it in between and wedge it, and it keeps it from coming out. And it goes to that side over there, right? No, or, no, no, no. This whole frame is going to be here. Right. So it goes in between oh. the frame and here. Gotcha. Or you have okay. to open it to get that way. We'll find out. Okay. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to think because this comes out. The reason why this doesn't pull out and swivel is because you're going to see how close this gets to that TV. They don't want you to forget about it. Yeah. Sorry. Alright, so you got storage all the way through here. Yep. Alright. Storage in there you already seen. Room you already seen the windows. Storage in here. Yep. Now here's the other one. Okay. Alright. Outlet. There. Alright. Okay. Oh, here is some paper that we find. We don't throw anything out. Here's a look on the water saving system, the TV, a little door hanger on how to hook up the Wi-Fi and okay. all the Bluetooth, all that stuff. Um, in here again, all the paperwork, everything from little tablet sampler to clean the toilet, um, instructions on how to manually bring in the awning should it fail in the out position. So all the paperwork, everything's going to be in there. Okay. Um, even little hanging things, we don't throw those out. We'd like for you to read them first, and then you can throw them out. Okay. There's a sheet of uh, quick start, frequently asked questions. You know, right? Okay. And again, that's all if you can't go online to find it. So there's a mount in the bed bedroom to mount a TV. Yes. Yeah, there's a TV backer right up against the wall. There's a sticker labeling exactly where to mount it. Is there a place to get the mounts? Because I assume Walmart. Okay, so it's that kind of mount. I mean, you can put any mount you want okay. afterwards. Right. They use their own factor. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yes, sir. And the, si and the size of TV, I mean, it's not going to take Whatever a huge works TV. For you. Okay. Whatever can fit in that corner. Okay. And that's why it's not mounted because they some people may not want them. Some people right. don't want them. You have the option for a bigger TV, a smaller TV. So I kind of like that they don't put a TV in that bad room yet. Okay. I can choose what kind of TV I want. No, that's These are fine, great. Yeah. These are great TVs. Don't get me wrong. But, you right. know, I, I get me a smart TV so I don't have to worry about that fire stick. Right. Right. That stuff. right. So storage all the way through. Give you a little silverware tray. Lines up and down. Give the keys. You know, I forgot to put a freaking nine volt battery in there. Smoking I did. You did? Awesome. I was gonna say I left the door down, so even if I forgot yeah, this they, live would, they would. Teamwork. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> See, he's got my back. That's my buddy right there. Yes. All righty. So you already seen the silverware tray. More storage. Make sure your smoke detector is good. Yep. More storage. Same thing with the lines up and down. And over here, you got a little charging port. Right. You seen this? Mm -hmm. You push down, then you can pull it up. You can charge your USBs and or a regular outlet. Okay. Put it back down, just press the little red button. Slides back down, and then you can push it down flush. Okay. Got your little Susie Q, Lazy Sue, whatever they're called. Right. <laughs> you got a storage right here. And I turned the pump on so I can show you the water running. Okay. So, you got running water. Hot and cold, both sides. Mm -hmm. Is the now. water heater on? No. Probably not. Okay. I like this that they added. Drip tray, drip dry. Because you see how I just ran the water? Yeah. Once you're going down the road, there's always water left in this thing so when you're going down it'll it'll usually make a big old puddle here okay. so always point it this way so when you're going down the road all that extra water drops down and drops down in there exactly is that a regular um residential faucet let me guess you're thinking about switching out for one of the pool ones yes the lady said the exact same thing <laughs> on my first demo the exact same thing yes regular faucet if you can get up under there Yes, yeah. Suzy Q. Well, actually, from You're the right. back side, so get yeah. through there. Yeah. you should be able to. Should be okay, standard. just wanted to make sure that this holds. Or, just okay. Make sure those lines are tight. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Plant shelf up here. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's yeah. funny. Over here, a okay. typical microwave, same as you have at home. Probably yep. just a little bit smaller. Yep. You got your overhead light for the stove. You also have overhead exhaust. The hood. If it does, if it does get to the point where you got to use the exhaust, you have to go on the outside and open up the flapper. Okay. So that it vents okay. out, and I'll show you that when we get out there. Okay. This right here is a knife block, so you can put your different size knives in there. Okay. All right. Flip this once, twice. Now it's like a backsplash. All right. Now I don't know if the gas is on. Let me go make sure when the propane tank sure. is open, so I can show you the stove. Okay. I'm gonna make it two videos. So you're gonna put this in the light position. Push it in, turns to the left, light position, press the sparker. 
<laughs> now I just turn the gas on. Right. So it might take a second. A while, yeah. <clears throat> At least the first one will. Okay. And let the gas, let the air come out of it. Now the second one should light right up. There we go. And the third one will light up even faster. There we go. So those are all three burners. All right. Mm -hmm. The oven's going to be a little bit different. And to save you from bending down, you can actually look right here at the reflection of what I'm doing. You'll see it here in a second. You see the spark. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. And it's actually labeled on the knob. So you're going to push it in, turn it to the pilot position. Yeah, it's just right. There we go. Give it a few pumps. Okay. And then you're going to hold it. While you're holding it down, then you're going to hit the button. And then you should see that light up. Do you see the pilot lit? Do you see the reflection? Yeah, I do. All right, okay. I'll let it go. If it goes out, just repeat the process. Then from there, you can go to your temperatures. Okay. You see the whole bar lit up? Yep, yep, yep. All right. Cool. Go ahead and shut that off. Make sure the pilot's off. Good to go. There's no cheese potatoes in here. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so, so when you, like if you're at a campsite and you just want to leave the pilot, should you leave the pilot on? I wouldn't. Turn it, always turn it off. Why? I have it running, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If I'm not, yeah, if I'm not cooking. It's I'm not like a house gas. where you would always leave the pilot Right, on okay. standby, no. Okay. Then you just be burning gas for nothing. Okay. Um, this will stop working after a while. <laughs> Okay. I was going to say, that's why I was thinking I'm trying not to push it that often. You can push as much as you want. It's just a double A battery? It's just a triple A, a battery. battery. That's okay. all it is, all right? Okay. So, cool. These are pretty cool. I like when they added this. I actually accidentally found that. I was doing something and I leaned over and, and I was like, what the crap is that? <laughs> so, and I found the sparker. But <clears throat> I always have to point that out because if this stops working, I mean, you just said it yourself. I was going to try not to use it as much. Right. Right. you didn't know about that. If you don't know right. about that, people think it's broken. They'll be bringing it in for service for a change, change of battery. Change the AAA battery, yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's that. All right. Close that down. You got more counter space. Yep. Uh, another drawer down here. Nope. We'll pull down and then storage okay. room in there. And the <laughs> only plug in the kitchen is that one. Is that right? No, remember? The pop-up. Oh, the pop-up. So that's got like four of them. Okay. Okay. So this has got two regular outlets. Okay. Plus the the two USBs. Right. I was thinking there was something. Uh, That's on a different. Some other okay. units have them up there gotcha. for the coffee pot. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so so there's, a, in, uh, there's a converter that goes from 30 down to 50 amp, 15 amp. Correct. So the regular household. But you have to be plugged in, obviously. Right. Right. For that power. to work. Yeah. The only